I haven't seen her in one and a half years. She was the only thing keeping me sane. She made me feel like there wasn't only pain and like I could find my way out of the maze that I'm in. When I was with her, I felt my pain, stress, and depressed emotions just fade away. I lived for the moments where I could hear her voice, but now she's gone. I hope to find her again soon. Maybe we could sit on a bench and talk for a while. Maybe my world would be less suffocating then. I miss you. I miss our friendship. I hate to say this, but I do. I miss going to my house every day, or because I was home alone. I miss talking to you every hour of the night. Nothing will ever compare to the conversation we'll have about the things that mattered the most and the things that didn't matter. But now you are gone in a matter of second. You went from being my sister to being a stranger. Seeing you walk in the hallway every day eats me up inside. But it's obvious you don't miss me. But it's fine. I can't sleep, feeling the grass was in my bed, even underneath the sheets, pillow hot beside my head. I've tried drinking milk, but now I have to pee. I'm in insomniac, it's why now you see I wanna sleep, I wanna sleep, I wanna sleep. God, why can't you let me sleep? I got a presentation in the morning and then I'm trying to fall asleep in the middle of it And if I get another bad grade cause I stayed up late and fell asleep Because I'll be so living cause you know I've been trying I even go to sleep at 9 just to wake up at 5 thinking I'm gonna be fine after falling asleep 4 hours later So much for a skip schedule, oh why? I think I want Popeyes today, but like the fresh out, out of the fryers Popeyes, the spicy chicken sandwich, to be specific, with pickles. Even though I don't really like pickles and I went through this whole phase where I was so scared of pickles that if they were ever accidentally in my food or in my plate, I would have pickle nightmares. But that's over now. Plus, pickles go well with this sandwich and a biscuit with honey. And then I'm going to go home and probably end up giving my biscuits to my roommate. Because he always says he doesn't want any food when I ask him, but then gets magically hungry when I'm eating. But that's okay. I get it. FOMO is real. Plus, the biscuits are kind of dry. <laughs> uh, that's what I tell myself so I won't get sad about not getting to eat any of it. Anyways, I don't mind sharing. <laughs> In fact, who makes just one biscuit? They're made for sharing. You can make one sandwich, but if you're making biscuits, you're making at least six. Otherwise, the ratios will get all messed up. I love food that is inherently made for sharing, you know? Listen, listen, listen. Okay, so I'm not a negative person. At least I try not to be. I try to keep a positive outlook on tomorrow and the future, but I don't know. Recently, that's not been as easy to do. All these goals that I had last year, I reached them, yes, but some of them also amounted to nothing. I mean, not that they amounted to nothing, 
but that I wasn't able to enjoy them or life and all this craziness got in the way. It makes me feel, feel so angry. Like I want to climb to a rooftop and just yell, I don't know, something like I am so tired and nothing is okay right now. But then thinking that makes me feel dramatic, ungrateful. I mean, some of the plans I made didn't fall through, but at least I'm still here. You know, I'm still alive. I mean, people are sick. People are sick and in their deathbeds. And here I am, an able-bodied, healthy kid yelling about nothing being okay. But also, nothing is okay. The world is shit right now. Literal shambles. So another part of me says it's okay to acknowledge that. And you know, I think I'm gonna go with that instead. I am so tired and nothing is okay right now. What is progress? I think there's something to be said about people who probably think they've made progress for the world at large. What do you actually mean? Do you mean progress at whose expense? Or do you mean who have you sacrificed in order to make this progress? Maybe I'm being too pessimistic. Or maybe I should just let people have their wins. When another man gets on another stage and speaks into another microphone about how there's so much progress being made in this country while my mom still has to work 12 hours every day to make it from week to week. Whose progress is that? If you ask me, I don't really want to hear about that progress anymore. No, what I want to hear is about how my baby brother took his first steps. I want to hear about how my friend had finally figured out how to play the guitar. Sometimes I would also want to hear about how someone tried painting for the first time and about how good it is to have long walks and about planting flowers and sitting under trees thinking and breathing. Can that be progress just for one minute? Hi, hi, it's me. Don't panic, okay? Don't panic. It's me. I'm you. And hey, I know you're stressed. I know how hard things get, especially for you. I'm here to comfort you, all right? I'm here to give you advice. I guess I just wanted to say you're good. Heck, you're great. So don't stress. I mean, sure, value your responsibilities. Relax a little. If you keep stressing like this, it's going to turn into a giant ball of stress by the time you're my age. You need to relax, okay? It's okay to relax. If you relax, look. Look over there. Do you see that girl? That's you. That's you in five years. Do you see that girl? Do you see her? She's us. I hope you'll be able to see the joy in her eyes as she dances the night away, being as carefree as possible. Don't fear the unknown, fear of giving up, fear of what won't happen. This is a new start and a second chance, and I think that you'll be able to be more aware, self-aware. Your goals are important. Never give up on the things that you have been longing for for these past 14 years of your life. You may be lost, but loss is where you can find and build yourself back up again because you are strong and you have done it before. So please don't give up and promise me this, that you'll stay strong no matter how hard it gets.